guys, Mr. Someone here, and today we're gonna be going in depth to the World Cup swaps tokens and the World Cup swap rewards. First off, let's go to objectives and show you the tokens and what we've been doing. There they are, the first tokens yet. Yeah, these are to be done in FIFA World Cup swaps. Life up friendly. You have to win six matches with all these players in the team. You get these from the packs that they give you, which is kind of sick, so then they're really easy to do. This, here we go, we've done two of these swaps already. They're just on quad battles, so it's just easy to do. These, like, pretty long winded though, because you know how squad battles are. Can't quit, can't do anything. Anyway, let's move on now to the to the World Cup swaps rewards. Now, this is what I really wanted to talk with you guys about is the World Cup swap rewards and what you should pick and what I'm going to pick. You've obviously already seen all these swaps rewards and what you can get. Vieira, what player pick. And now I'm going to go and explain them all to you. Let's start off right by the bottom. Okay, so like you can get all these players for two tokens, which I don't think anybody really do. I'm not gonna really go for these because it's kind of a waste of tokens. Unless you have any tokens that are spare, then you get up to the first three, first one that you might be looking to do, which is the 82 plus times 20. You can do this if you have any spare tokens. I wouldn't focus on that as your main one. Let's start off with the main ones actually, because that's what you need to focus on. So we start off with Patrick Vieira at 40 tokens. Is this card worth it? Yes, if yes, it is worth it because what's good? He's really good. He's really good in game. This card, if it was on the transfer market, would be around like two, two mil, two point five mil. It'd be around like the same price as Yara Torre probably. This card is crazy in game, and Vieira, you know, is really good in the game. Is it worth 40 tokens though? I don't think so. Me pers personally, I wouldn't go for this because just he's he's a really nice card, but I feel like if you do this, it's five tokens cheaper. You can probably pack him in this as well. Even though EA haven't released all the World Cup icons yet, I think this will be quite a good choice because this is the second most expensive one, which shows that it's really good. Cafu, not really looking to do him. Am I looking for a right back? And I'm not going to spend 30 tokens on him. But do you know what does look interesting to me? Is this right here. This is what looks interesting to me. 25 tokens for one of four World Cup hero player epic. That seems crazy. So let's go on to it. Let's see. Let's see the World Cup hero. Start this. Why is it taking so long to load? Let's go and show you the World Cup heroes. We only hear about the main ones like Alawayran, Gary Torre, and obviously the worst ones like Al Campos and Crouch. But we need to go into this very, very carefully. This. Because this is sick. Oh my club. Got four land there, you know. There's Voller. Let's count how many good there ones there are. There's Voller. One, that's one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve players that are good out of the. 22 players that there are 23 players I mean that there are so 12 players out of the 23 players that there are that's crazy that's more than 50% chance that you're gonna get a good player and since it's one of four you're definitely likely to get one of these players and nearly all of these players are over over 100k and all of these players some of these players are extinct like look at Brolin for instance He's got upgraded loads from his other card. 90 pace, 92 shooting, 92 dribbling. 
them are the three main components you need for a striker. A Kocha, obviously a crazy, Yaratoy, crazy, Fast Trader, crazy CDM. Actually, Marquez looks good, alright. Alright, as well, so that would be like 13 good players, actually. Ricardo Carvalho is probably insane. Look at that defending stats. Bola, obviously, crazy. Orland, crazy. Papin, not too good. Lucio, crazy. Smaller X. Look, this is a hidden gem, this card. For me, this card is going to be insane. 94 pace, 90 shot, and 92 dribbling. That's why he's extinct on the market right now. Marquisio again. He's a crazy card. Look at that. That's like Hullet at this point in the game. That's like Hullet. He's going to be more expensive than Yara Troy, definitely. He's going to be like 3, 4 mil, this card. Although, we're on 99 pace. This guy's going to be insane. He's already 400k, which I think is quite quite cheap for him. Donovan looks alright. 92 pace, 90 shot as well. Elwell, decent. Lodgenberg, not ready to want. Are you not ready that you want Nakata? No, definitely not. Papin's okay, but you don't really want him. So there's like, and then Govu, Govu here is another crazy player. Look at that, that he's got the three main things that you need for a striker: 90 pace, 90 shooting, and 89 dribbling. But well, Crouch is rubbish. Park Ji Son is actually all right as well. Park Ji Son is crazy as well. He's like another Hullet. Wow, he's cheap for oh, that, that card. That's crazy. That's such a good card. Look at that all-rounded 80, 80. Every stat's over 80. That's crazy. Anyway, let's carry on with the review of the swap. So I'd probably end up going for that, which is 25 tokens. Then I'd have 20 tokens left over for this. Some people might think this is not a good idea because you might as well go for like Vieira. But I think this is really, really good for me. 384 times 20 is for 20 tokens. That's crazy because think about it, if you open all of these packs now, you'll end up getting at least a couple of them foot heroes, which are insane. And you'll get them path to glories are okay as well. Like you would end up packing Vinny or all them good ones. And team two is coming out soon as well. So then that will be really interesting to see people get out of that but me personally i'd get this and then i'd be clever about it and save it for team of the year yes people team of the year is coming probably shortly after the after the world cup and team of the year comes and you know what these these packs to me are like guaranteed team the team of the year packs because 84 plus think about it like this 380 3 times 20 equals 60. So that's 60 walkouts, basically. 60 walkouts. So you take that and that. That's that's 45 tokens. So you've got 5 tokens left. 5 tokens left. I'd either go, I'd probably go and spend it on. Would I buy one? Would I get one of these players? No. I'd probably just send it on the 82 times 25 and then maybe just like a player. Like for two tokens, or I just leave them two tokens. Anyway, let's get back to these players now. Then there's this the FIFA World Cup Path to Glory player pick. This is it worth it? For me, it's not that worth it. It's alright, but I would not do this up because. I don't see it like it's as worth it as this for five more tokens or this for the save about token. That to me is like worth 10 tokens or like no 15 tokens let's say. Fabinho, really good card but he's not a path to glory so he doesn't get upgraded but then that's not worth it. Kingsley Coleman again a crazy card for him because he's got five star, five star skill moves and he's got 94 pace. Good dribbling and decent shooting and then hazard these players these three players look quite good in game but i don't think that's worth it going for them for 15 tokens for 15 tokens you might as well go for this or this for five more tokens because this you could get one card that could get upgraded again and again and again 
or you could get this which is guaranteed walkout pack this 84 times 20 if you have a spare 10 tokens i go for this miss amount again is okay but no i don't see the purpose of going for these cards okay really good card but again i don't see the purpose and then all these players i don't really see the purpose of going for any of these unless you've got a spare token to waste yeah i guess that's it and then there's just this 82 times 20 which i love these fodder packs these fodder packs are just insane every day every year like you just save them from a promo and you're bound to get like one or two players from that promo or like at least one let's move on that's it for today's video i hope you like it tell me what you would choose for your swaps and what i'm gonna tell you straight i'd either go for Vieira and 10 tokens for the 84 times 20 184 times 20 or i'd go for the world cup player pick and then anything else that you desire which is really good or the fodder packs the fodder packs are always a really good choice because you're bound to get at least one of these path to glories or anything good from them anyway that's it for today's video guys comment like and subscribe i'll be back with more content soon that's it today like and subscribe to the channel bye